Hello friends. Today I thought this is very important for developers, stroke graphic designers who basically who, who people who know how to create websites at the same time they know how to get the dimensions of photos for their website. It is very important. Uh, most of the people when they they are given a website to design uh they never consider taking up the dimensions of uh, the website so basically either what they do uh, they distort the quality of the images for their website and uh, basically the website looks shambled or they really look bad. So today I thought this was a, it would be an explainer to show you the best way to handle your photos when you are uploading them on your website. Uh, let me take an example of a website for my client. Let me just open a website for my client. Uh, uh, let's just get our website from uh, from my client, one of my client, uh, myrustic.com. Uh, this is just a simple website that I had created, and uh, I think uh, with the explainer, uh, you'll be able to understand. Uh, so most of the websites have. Uh, like specific dimensions of photos uh, that you should uh, should take. Yeah. So first and foremost, uh, so let's just take a look at see and see how this website looks like. So basically, you see, uh, most of the websites have uh, like specific dimensions, and for a website to look good, uh, you must keep in mind the dimensions of the photos so that you may not lose the credibility of the website or uh, the quality of the website uh, so uh, like this photo you have to if you want to get the right dimension of the photo uh, as as is as it is used on this like on this website uh, first uh, either you are using a WordPress website, uh, always have a reference point. Uh, like this website was created, I created it using a reference point using Ogo theme. Ogo, Ogo theme, WordPress theme. Add WordPress. And uh, so basically, I just want to to show you uh, that uh, dimensions are key because they help your website to look good, to look pretty, and to keep the dimensions in check so that uh, when you present your website to your client, your website looks much cleaner and much better. Uh, sorry if my my web my my my, my internet connection is slow, but uh, I still have to put this point across here. Yeah? So when you look at this website, you see we have specific dimensions, uh, the length, the width, and the height. So some of the creative tools that you can use to have these dimensions right with your website is uh, first the simple, simplest tool that you can use is uh, the, what we call a screen recorder, snipping tool, sorry, snipping tool. This snipping tool will help you to get the dimensions of either the width and the height of your website. So basically first you can you can you can get a snipping tool and then you just take a, a sample so basically that it is going to give you the dimensions of the photo of the photo uh, 
so basically with that and then with that image you can you can save that image save image you can save image as a uh, uh, let's say just uh, slide that one slide slide one basically it's, it's not a slider but a picture one the name of the website the the, the footer you are going to use it it's not that doesn't matter but uh, it, it will it is going to be on a reference point so what you're going to do with that slide one you will open it up i don't know which softwares you are using but uh, i'm a i'm an old fanatic of, of adobe cs adobe fireworks this is one of the software I normally use for editing photos uh, and Adobe Illustrator. Or in, even if you are still using Photoshop, dimensions is always key. Always keep in mind the dimensions of your photo so that you don't lose the quality, uh, so that your photo does not look distorted or any other. As it so that your picture the picture quality of your photo looks good so let's just open our our, our image on on uh, on adobe fireworks so if you want to check the dimensions uh, you just go to file uh, file not file uh, you go to modify and then canvas this canvas size uh, canvas size uh, image size and canvas size. So if you want to take a look at the image size, it's also Control J or canvas size. So you just click on that. It will give you a dimension of 576. So that is what you are going to do. So let's imagine that uh, you are going to change the this image on your website. You are going to change that image of your website to your client's needs image, basically whatever image you're going to use. So what you're going to do, uh, uh, for example, you go to Google Photos, basically, maybe your, your client is, is on travel industry and he wants to, to do something. He wants to have like the best photo on, on travel, on travel, travel industry. So, and uh, the travel safaris or lion so you will get your image you get your image or you will be provided with the image of your for your clients so what you're going to do you open that image you get that image that you want that 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 the image that you want and then you will save it on your on your desktop right uh you save it on your desktop. You save it on your desktop. And then, now, uh, sorry, let me just do this. Open in. You save it on your desktop. You save it on your desktop. Uh, there are several ways you can do it. You can still use uh, you can still use snipping tool, and then you capture that image. You capture that image, save, and then you give it a name. Now, travel, travel two. So now, uh, after you have taken the photo, what you are going to do? You are going to open that image cancel open 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 mm -hmm. open that image travel to so what you're going to do you're going to copy that image over that the the, the slider image that you had but now here's the catch uh first you minimize the size and then you hold or you you can use the scale tool so that you resize that image to the dimensions that you are given so that it fits perfectly the problem that i most early developers do what they normally do 
they normally try to fit to to fix the image to fit that dimensions without uh, scaling the image properly so basically the image looks distorted this is what i mean uh, so basically you do this you are forcing that image to go to that dimension so basically never do that never do this because the image will, will uh, always look distorted never distort the, in the quality image that you have this is a very wrong and uh, it always look unprofessional so never do that never do this always always if you want to scale the image okay let's just delete it if you want to scale the image to that dimension just copy that image as it is complete and then what you do you just uh, use the scale tool this is on photoshop i'm still a fanatic of photoshop and then you can just you can just adjust it correctly to fit you can just adjust it correctly just adjust it correctly like that so that image that image will have the uh, in the original dimension as uh, we had uh, you had intended to have it earlier on uh and besides, it will still have the 579 uh, three three and uh, four dimension so that's it so that's the thing i've always seen uh young developers do uh, young web website designers do and i thought uh, uh that could help you out uh, so that uh, what you just do uh, get the dimension if it's uh if it is uh, 1000 by 600 1000 by 600 and then what you do you you scale your image you just scale your image you get your image and you scale it correctly to to that dimension control c and then you just scale it on that image another way you can use is to get hold of the image on the edge and then you 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 press shift and then you move it to the edge or you use the scale tool and then you push it to the edge and then now you can just adjust it accordingly to that space the image will will still Ha, will still have the quality that it, it intended to have and it will not be it will not be distorted so happy coding guys uh, see you on the next video